Okay, um, I want to dive into this. Brandon had brought this up to me the, yesterday, actually, and man, it was like a light bulb went off. Um, so let's go over ego. What is the ego? The definition of ego. The self that feels, thinks, wills, and acts as distinguished from its attributes, from the bodily organization, and from every other object of thought. The the definition of ego is, is quite strange because it actually goes on. Uh, egocentric, okay? So to, so to sort of get an idea for what ego means, because ego, the definition of that, that's the whole definition in this dictionary. I'm using a, I think this is 1956. Um, but the rest of the definition for ego is just um, the subject as distinguished from everything objective. So I went down to egocentric, which helped me to sort of see where they're coming from on how they're explaining what ego means. Um, egocentric means dwelling upon oneself or upon one's own personal interests, almost to the exclusion of everything else. Self-centered. Ex this is very interesting. Exhibiting an interest in the individual rather than in the group. In psychology, forming ideas and attitudes with oneself as centered. Centering all mental activities about oneself. Self-centered. In philosophy of knowledge or ideas that are subjective or that are necessarily limited because they spring from one's own mind as center. Uh, egocentric again uh, and as a noun though now um, that was as an adverb as a noun a person given to dwelling upon himself or his own immediate interests almost to the exclusion of everything else in psychology one who is self-centered a person who considers everything in relation to himself one whose ideas and attitudes are centered about himself Guys, they're fucking with you because, okay, so so we're going to leave that there. I'm working this through my head still. Um, I let it sit overnight and this morning and it's it's coming together. Okay, so let's, let's go to soul. Okay, because what we're trying to figure, what I'm trying to figure out is how to explain what is happening? What is what the process is? Okay, because people think they're doing good, right? But they're coming from their ego. This is your soul. Okay, let's look at definition of soul. Because my whole argument, what I'm trying to tell you guys, what I'm trying to unveil, what I'm trying to uncover, is all the illusion that they put over us telling us that our ego is who we are. Okay, our ego is only who we are because of the abusive programming. If we did not get brought into this world into a talk, extremely toxic trauma-filled environment with all these abusive programmings, we would not have an ego. The ego was created at a fight and flight. The ego was created by the mind to as a survival mechanism to survive in a toxic trauma-filled environment. Or if you want to think, to survive in an environment that it was not brought here to be in that's against its natural let's say biological function okay i'm trying to explain it i don't know if it's coming across right but it's actually as i'm speaking it it's it's becoming clearer in my mind so let's look at soul what is the definition of soul out of the same dictionary guys this is i believe 1956 common to the teutonic languages the sea the soul being regarded as the moving, billowy element of man. The spiritual, rational, and immortal part in man which distinguishes him from brutes. Guys, you know another definition that has that pretty much along the same lines is your ability to reason. That distinguishes, uh, distinguishes us from brutes. The immortal spirit that inhabits the body. The immaterial part of man. The part of man that enables him to think and reason. Okay. The soul is our original 
pilot for that operates the mind, which operates the body. If we had been brought into, okay, if we had been brought into an environment, if our parents thought that it knew and accepted the fact that we were whole, we didn't need anything except for a safe, comfortable environment, ease, respect, liberty, and sanity, okay? That's all we needed. That is all we needed for this physical form to be able to grow and enable the, so the, the soul can now pilot a clean mind, clean mind, free from cognitive dissonance, free from any kind of anxiety, free from any kind of doubt. There's no faith and belief because it's all knowing, all trusting, This physical body would probably, I would imagine, guys, we're probably so shrunk down. I, the way I'm seeing this now, what is opening up to me um, now that I'm freeing my mind and allowing my knowledge to come through and my common sense to come through on how these things are working and how obviously abusive and, and enslaved we are. I would imagine in a... Our physical form, if we were surrounded by it in that in those in that situation, that safe space that our parents were supposed to give us, if they weren't acting as agents of the state, I would say we'd probably be giants, and we could probably grow that big within a few years, because we have been poisoned inside and out from day one. We have been poisoned biologically, physically. We have been poisoned mentally. We have been poisoned spiritually. Guys, we have been abused. We Abuse just means ill use, okay? Improper treatment or employment. If you guys think shoving poisons into your child, into your baby's mouth is not abuse, you are gaslighting yourself. You're lying to yourself. You're placing, you're playing along with this illusion that they've created for you that allows you to abuse your child without feeling bad about it. You know why? Because you're coming from your ego. This is what I'm saying. You guys don't even know what love is. You all don't even know what love is. You guys have never been loved. You have never been shown love. What you guys know as love all comes from the ego all comes from satisfying whatever programs are in your head, whatever programs got placed, whatever entities you worship, that is what you guys are doing. This is not love. Your soul, look, we're going to read the, the definition of soul again. Common to the Teutonic languages, the sea, okay? That's what it originally from the Teutonic came from is, is a word similar to meant the sea, like the sea, you know, the ocean, the sea. The soul, this is still going back to the Teutonic languages, the soul being regarded as the moving, billowy element of man. Okay, now we're out of that def definition coming from the Teutonic, and we're into the 56, 1956 definition. The spiritual, rational, and immortal, guys, they tell you, they're telling you, they put it in your face. Part in man, which distinguishes him from brutes. The immortal spirit that inhabits the body. This is, guys, they're telling you right here. This is what is supposed to be piloting our mind to, or operating our mind to pilot this fucking body. But instead, they, as soon as we're born, before we're born, it starts before we're born. Because think about this. Your mother is ingesting all kinds of toxic processed food. Your mother is under so much fucking stress. 90% 90, 90 of mothers in America are under tons of financial stress. Then you figure, you know, 50% of these women are giving birth to on their own. I mean, you can only imagine the anxiety and stress that is being passed to that newborn. I believe, I, for, uh, I think right now where I'm at, I think even with that abuse that the mother is placing unduly onto that child in her belly, I think that just due to the absolutely amazing way our cells work and the fact of our, how strong our soul is, I believe even if that stupid woman popped us out, that 
if she would just give us the ease, safety, comfort, and liberty that we needed, it what she did prior while we were in her belly wouldn't even fucking matter. The pro, the this is where I think the issue comes from. When we do, when when she does birth us, right? Immediately, immediately, that right, immediately, they are shoving toxic poisons into your veins, guys. The heaviest metals on earth. And it does, and you guys know where I go from there. But what is happening is, so as a baby, you don't need any of this. All you need, guys, and as soon as it, so as soon as the baby born, they're fucking slapping it, bam, bop, paps it around to all these strangers, bright lights everywhere, concrete walls, fucking hard floors. I mean, completely non-conducive to biological life. It is completely non-conducive. Those those elements are 100% non-conducive to biological life, guys. And then they are taking that baby, they're taking it from the fucking parents and then putting it in a bassinet and putting it in a room all by itself with a bunch of other screaming babies. Guys, they are traumatizing and abusing your child and you are as well by consenting to it and allowing them to do it. They are traumatizing and abusing your children and they are, what is happening is they are taking the soul they are, they, instead of your child being able to grow and become a soul, he has now become a character in this grand play, in this drama called life that they got you guys wrapped up in, in the circle of consumerism, the Ouroboros, they got, and they got you building your ego, okay? Now, what happens is, is that ego says it loves, says it cares, says it wants to help, but Everything that ego does comes from a from from fight or flight. It comes from uh, survival. Okay, that ego is going to help you. It's going to love you until it needs the first help in uh, itself. And that's why I'm saying healing is so important because we cannot go around thinking we're going to help people and do all this shit. And then because that's virtue signaling with our ego, what is happening? We are taking our ego. Our ego is taking the front, and then we so we get this knowledge, right? And then we. Woo, Look at me. I got all this knowledge. Ooh, I'm going to go share it. No, we haven't healed completely. So what you're doing is instead of healing completely, your ego took over again. So your spirit said, sat there and thought and used its reason and came to conclusions. But immediately the ego took over and said, oh, I know what I can do with all this new information. Subconsciously, this is what it's doing, even consciously, but definitely subconsciously. I know what I can do with all this new information. I can make a lot of money. I can build a business. Ooh, but I'll help people. That's how I'll justify it. And, okay, so do you see what I'm saying? Um, and, again, okay, so I want to touch one other thing real quick because this is probably going to be a, a, you know, I'll probably go into this more deeper as it resonates. Um, but as it, as it simmers in my in my mind and I let it, I let it set, trust. I, I, I hate the words faith and belief. Those fucking words just fucking irk the fuck out of me because it is the laziest cocksuckers who have already given themselves over to authorities and given their free will up, given their soul up and sold their soul out to whatever authority they sold their soul out to that says that kind of shit. So what, the word that we use as true souls, I, I think right now is where I'm at. Trust. We trust ourselves, okay, to place confidence in, to rely on, to depend upon. Truth, what is truth? Conformity to facts or reality as of statements to facts, words to thoughts, motives or actions to professions. Guys, so you are, you are literally, listen, what is truth? Conformity to facts or reality as of statements to facts of what you say People are, no, okay, yep, that's true. It's a fact. Okay, there's no fucking, ooh, I wonder, maybe I gotta get more knowledge. Maybe I gotta get you this. No, that's all superfluous horse shit. That's, that's, that's confusion. That's illusion. That's horse shit. Okay, conformity to facts. Words to thoughts. So you're saying what you think. You're not thinking something different and then playing a game and seeing, ooh, what can I do with this? No, that again, that goes back to ego. Motives or actions to professions. So you are actually going to act out. Truth is you are acting out exactly what you believe. So you're not going to work at a job working at, let's, I don't know why, porn store. <laughs> porn store was the first thing. But you're not going to get a job working at a porn shop 
if you're, you call yourself a Christian because that goes against your religion. Okay. So that you see what I'm saying, but we're going to, I'm going to stop there because I'm hitting 15 minute marks. It takes like two hours to upload a fucking video that that length. Um, so I'll stop there for now, but I hope this sparks other people to start thinking because I mean, this is really, my son brought this up to me about the ego and soul yesterday and it, man, it really fucking has me on a, um, uh, 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 on a reasoning, on a reasoning thing right now. So, okay.